In this video, we're diving into the fascinating journey of how money is actually made. I'll walk you through the incredible process that turns simple materials into the bills and coins you use every day. We'll dig into everything from the specialized paper and metal used, to the complex printing and minting techniques, all the way to how that money ends up in your wallet. No, not from the ATM or the bank, but right from its origin. Before a single note or coin gets printed, countries first decide on the design. This includes elements that represent the nation's history, culture, and achievements. Designers, often employed by the central bank or the treasury, work in collaboration with artists and historians to create drafts. During this conceptual phase, the team also thinks about the security features that will make counterfeiting difficult. Paper money isn't really paper. It's usually made from cotton and linen for durability. In some countries, polymer banknotes are becoming popular due to their added resilience and longer life cycles. Coins, on the other hand, are typically made from metal alloys to resist wear and corrosion. Once the design is finalized, it's time to prepare the printing plates. The detailed design is converted into a master plate using a process called engraving. This is an incredibly skilled job often requiring years of apprenticeship. Banknotes usually go through multiple stages of printing to apply each of the various elements. Base colors, secondary colors, and finally, the detailed line work and text. The inks used are specially formulated to bond well with the paper or polymer and have a long lifespan. They also contain secret elements that are visible only under ultraviolet light, adding an extra layer of security. Coin production is a world of its own. It starts with large sheets of metal alloy rolled to the correct thickness. These sheets pass through a blanking press, which punches out coin-sized pieces known as blanks. The blanks are then subjected to a process called annealing to soften the metal, making it easier to imprint the design. The notes and coins are not yet ready for circulation after printing and minting. They undergo rigorous quality checks. Sophisticated machinery scans each note for defects, ensuring they meet the stringent criteria. Coins are inspected for weight, diameter, and appearance. Those that don't meet the grade are melted down or shredded. While machines do much of the work, skilled technicians oversee the entire process. Their expertise is crucial in areas like machine calibration, quality control, and even the artistry involved in engraving. Continuous training programs ensure that these experts are up to date with the latest technologies and methods. The banknotes that pass the quality tests are then given serial numbers and the Federal Reserve seal. This process is called overprinting and is done using letterpress printing. The serial numbers are unique identifiers and their sequence is carefully controlled to ensure transparency and accountability. The entire money manufacturing process is documented meticulously, creating an audit trail. Quality assurance protocols are implemented at every stage, from design approval to the final printing and minting. Regular audits are conducted both internally and by independent organizations to ensure adherence to international standards. Once money is printed and inspected, it's packaged securely in pallets and stored in vaults until it's time for them to enter circulation. Specialized logistics services, often overseen by the government, are responsible for distributing these pallets to central banks and other financial institutions. The central bank plays the role of introducing new money into the economy, usually by lending it to other banks. Over time, the older worn-out notes return to the central bank, where they are checked for authenticity and quality. Notes that are too damaged are removed from circulation and usually destroyed. On average, a US banknote lasts about 5-6 years, while coins can last up to 30 years. When these currencies become too worn, they are taken out of circulation and destroyed. Typically, either by shredding or incineration, currency design is a form of national art. Many countries incorporate the works of famous artists or cultural symbols into their currency. For example, the Euro notes feature architectural styles from different periods in Europe's history, while Japanese yen bills often display pictures of historical figures and landmarks. We touched upon this earlier, but let's go into detail. Security features can range from holograms, watermarks and security threads to microprinting and color shifting ink. The idea is to make counterfeiting extremely difficult and easy to detect. Governments usually keep many security features secret, besides the preventative measures built into the money itself. Authorities also use detection devices that can identify fake currency. These machines check for the correct weight, size and special inks. 
Newer technology even allows for smartphone apps that can do preliminary checks on banknotes. In this age of digital currencies and cashless transactions, the importance of understanding physical money might seem diminished. However, tangible money isn't going anywhere soon. It's still crucial for daily transactions in many parts of the world and is considered more inclusive, as not everyone has access to digital banking. The machinery used in printing banknotes is far from ordinary. It's highly specialized equipment built specifically for this purpose. Offset and intaglio printing are the two primary techniques used. Offset printing is generally used for background colors, while intaglio, which uses engraved plates, adds the finer details and raised features that you feel when you run your fingers over a banknote. The intaglio printing machines are marvels of engineering capable of imprinting precise designs at incredible speeds. These machines are subjected to regular quality checks to ensure they meet the precision required in money manufacturing. Modern money manufacturing also involves advanced computer software. CAD software assists designers in the initial stages, allowing them to visualize complex patterns and security features. Once the design is approved, CAM software guides the machinery in the engraving and printing processes, ensuring the high precision required for modern banknotes. Each machine is carefully calibrated to ensure the weight, thickness, and color of each note are up to specifications. The presses are also rigorously cleaned to avoid any cross-contamination of ink colors. Any misprinted notes are immediately destroyed to maintain the integrity of the currency. For coins, the primary machinery involved is the coining press and coining mills. The coining press applies thousands of pounds of pressure to imprint the design onto the softened blanks. Coining mills, on the other hand, create the ridged edges seen on many coins, known as reading. These machines are often tailored for each specific type of coin, and like their banknote counterparts, they are marvels of engineering precision. Both coins and banks undergo a series of chemical and physical tests to ensure their durability and resistance to wear and tear. For instance, banknotes are subjected to tests that mimic real-world conditions like exposure to sunlight, water, and even chemicals. The goal is to ensure that the currency can survive the rigors of daily use with technological advancements. New types of security features are continually being developed. Digital watermarking and QR codes are two examples. These can store information like the banknote's place and date of printing, which can be accessed by specific scanners, adding another layer to counterfeit prevention. The manufacture of money is a complex process that marries artistry with cutting-edge technology. Every banknote or coin that you hold has passed through a rigorous and fascinating journey, involving a series of complicated machines and processes, as well as the expertise of highly skilled individuals. Next time you have a banknote or coin in your hand, you'll hopefully see it not just as a means of trade, but as a product of incredible ingenuity and planning. With this, we've completed our comprehensive look into the intricate and remarkable world of money manufacturing. The next time you hold a piece of currency, you'll have a deep-rooted understanding and appreciation for what goes into creating each note and coin.